Lastly, what do rising interest rates mean for the borrowing costs that the state faces? All good questions, and I wish your son nothing but the best in school, Thank most you. importantly. Uh, listen, most importantly, this means for residents of our state, we save money, they save money, period. Now, how do, how do we get here? Jersey, way back decades ago, was a role model state. It was a AAA bond rated state. And then both sides of the aisle, by the way, not one party guilty over the other, for several decades just engaged in irresponsible behavior. Debts were going up, property taxes were out of control, we didn't make our pension payment, on and on and on. And I got elected the first time and got reelected uh, in 21 to basically fix the state. And I'm not gonna pat ourselves on the back, this is a journey, but we have now had six consecutive uh, credit rating upgrades. The prior administration had 11 consecutive downgrades. What's the formula? It's making your pension payments. It's getting a hold of property taxes and making the state more affordable. It is reducing indebtedness, basically becoming, again, a state that folks trust and find reliable. Again, we're not there yet, but this is a journey and we've made a good amount of progress. We won't rest until those A's keep going north from there. Good. We will come back to the question of real estate taxes and to income taxes in just a moment. But I'm told that shortly after Silicon Valley Bank failed, you traveled to California to meet with executives out there, uh, whether with uh, Silicon Valley Bank executives or others. Uh, why did you make that trip? Whom did you meet with? And what did you accomplish? Yeah, I actually, Tyler, made the trip before that happened, but it was fresh in our in our memories. I was out there, I'm the chair of both the National Governors Association and the Democratic Governors Association. We had a conference for the NGA in uh, Santa Monica. We spent a lot of time with the movie studios, New Jersey is on fire on film and television. And then I went up north, you're absolutely right, to meet, meet with venture capitalists and tech startups and companies. That's who New Jersey is, we're an innovation economy. Uh, tech, telecom, bio, life sciences, pharma, fintech, increasingly, as I mentioned, film, television, digital, offshore wind, green economy. Mm -hmm. That's who we are, and that's what we were out there pitching. Okay. Let's talk a little bit, uh, come back to the question of taxation. Uh, as you well know, New Jersey has the third highest uh, income tax rate in the country. It has overall the highest real estate tax rates in the country. I live in Montclair. Uh, the taxes there are very, very high, painfully so. Uh, what, what are you able to do and what are you able to say? You famously said, hey, uh, last fall during the campaign, something on the order of if the only thing you care about is taxes, maybe New Jersey isn't for you. I don't, I'm paraphrasing what I believe you said. How do, how, how do you think about the level of taxation? Yeah. How many people, especially wealthy people, are leaving the state of New Jersey? And what effect is that having uh, on inbound revenues? Yeah, these are all very good questions. Uh, first of all, we have more millionaires today than we've ever had before. And, and that does not mean that we don't take affordability deadly seriously. Frankly, it's job number one. It's our obsession. Uh, but the fact of the matter is each state has its own bumper sticker. As some states, you don't pay any income tax or the weather's warm. New Jersey's bumper sticker is the number one state in America to raise a family. And everything we do feeds into that. Number one rated public education system, top handful of healthcare systems in the country, incredible quality of life, location, et cetera. You add all that up, none of that comes cheap. That does not mean we don't care deeply about affordability. So we back up the truck on property tax relief. Uh, we make college accessible. Could you bring the truck to my house, Governor? Bring the truck to I my will. house, man. But listen, Tyler, listen, you, you live in Montclair, affectionately known as the People's Republic of Montclair, <laughs> quintessential New Jersey community, one of the most uh, successful communities in America, great school system, great transportation, great quality of life, diversity, everything you'd want raising your family. That's why you're Agree. there. Agree. None of that comes free. Um, and, and so, but that does not mean that we're not obsessed with, you know, we've got something called the Anchor Property Tax mm -hmm. Relief Program, which admittedly is means tested. 
so it doesn't touch everybody in Montclair. But if you make less than $150,000 a year, sort of the median salary in New Jersey, you're saving $1,500 a year on property taxes. That knocks it back to the 2011. Even if you make up to a quarter of a million, you're saving a thousand. That probably knocks it back to the middle of the last decade. So we take all that very, very right. seriously. But again, uh, you know, when you're the number one state in America to raise a family, a lot, a lot goes into that. Governor, it's Kelly here. And post pandemic, a lot of New Jerseyans who were there to commute into New York City have really enjoyed spending time at home. And they would love to have a job a little closer to home. They'd love to work in New Jersey, but there aren't a lot of jobs for them. What can you say to those people who would say, hey, I'd love to commute 15 or 20 minutes and not have to take the ferry, not have to pay the whatever it's going to cost us to go to lower Manhattan, not have to deal with the mass transit system. What are the prospects yep. for there being a higher number of professional white collar financials, whatever you want to call it? I mean, just the corporate base in New Jersey in general, we would all love to see more announcements of companies moving in versus moving out. Well, they, they, they are moving in, Kelly. Uh, good to see you, by the way. 